friends and welcome to our Coffee and Cuties. This month's theme is Seasons of Change. So we're going to be talking about the changing of the seasons, how the trees change color during the fall. And we've also got a little friend here who's keeping all warm and snuggly, who also changes colors depending on the temperature as well. So that's gonna be really neat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be reading a story all about trees. And then we get to talk about this little guy. But before we get into it, I'd like to thank APDO for sponsoring our Coffee and Cuties and making this all possible. Alrighty, let's get to the story. All right, everyone, now we're going to be reading a book all about trees called The Tree. Let's see here. What is hidden inside this green and prickly covering? Well, let's open and find out. There's a shiny brown chestnut inside the green burr. A chestnut is the seed of a chestnut tree. A tree is a giant plant. Food stored inside the seed nourishes the young plant. As the chestnut sapling grows up, the roots grow down into the soil. The mature tree's roots push down deep into the earth. They drink up the water from the soil. Do you see the roots? By winter's end, the chestnut tree has thousands of tiny buds. When spring comes and it is warm again, the buds will bloom. The buds burst open, revealing many tiny leaves. In spring, the chestnut tree blossoms. Oh, look at how pretty the blossoms are. Little by little, flowers become chestnuts. In the heat of summer, the chestnuts grow large and ripen. In, er in early autumn, the chestnuts begin to fall. Oh, looks like they're ready to fall. See how the leaves on the trees have changed to bright orange, yellow, and gold? See, it starts from green, and it gets a little bit darker, and then it starts to change colors. Winter is coming. The leaves start to fall. Many animals and insects make homes in, in and around trees. Trees provide food and shelter. Let's see who lives in this tree. Let's see. Oh, we have a lot of friends living in the trees. We have a woodpecker here, and I think I see a little mouse too. There is a little hedgehog right there, some birds, an owl and squirrel. I have a little frog there too, and a lizard, and all kinds of bugs. That's kind of neat. You can learn to recognize different kinds of trees by their sizes and their shapes. The beech is very big. In autumn, the maple is round and golden. The poplar is tall and pointy. The weeping willow's branches droop and bend. The birch is thin with white bark. You can also learn to recognize trees by the shape of their leaves and the look of their seeds. The American chestnut's leaf has tiny teeth along its edges. You see? And it's got chestnuts like this. The leaf of the hazel tree is shaped like a heart. It does kind of look like a heart. And it has hazelnuts. The oak, tree, the oak tree's leaf has rounded edges. And it has acorns. The walnut tree's leaf is made up of many small leaves. And it has walnuts. And the maple leaf has five points. One, two, three, four, five. 
and it's got maple seeds. Let's see. The pine tree and its cousins stay green all year round. They are called evergreens. So here we have a cypress, a sequoia, a fir, cedar, and parasol pine. Their fruits are cones that enclose the seeds. Their leaves are sharp and do not fall in autumn. We call the leaves needles. We make many things from the wood we get from trees. Paper is made from wood. With paper, we can make a book about trees. Trees are the oldest living things on earth. They give us food and medicine. They produce the oxygen that we breathe. Trees make our lives better in hundreds of ways. We should try to conserve trees. You can help by recycling paper or plant a tree and watch it grow. The end. That was really neat, wasn't it? Alrighty, that was an awesome book about trees. Now, today I have a little friend here with me. Did you know that animals can also change color depending on the temperatures? So this is Zilla, he is our bearded dragon, and he can change colors depending on both his mood and the temperature. So his beard changes colors depending on his mood. If he's feeling upset, he'll actually turn his beard into a very dark color, almost black, and he'll puff up the spikes. But if he's really happy and everything's all good, he actually turns orange, kind of like when you've eaten Cheetos and you get the dust all over you, that is the color he turns. Now, his body changes temperature, changes color depending on the temperature. So during warmer weather, oh, he's kind of snuggling up to me now. <laughs> Zilla is actually cold blooded. He's, that means um, he needs an outside heat source. So he likes snuggling up to us. Now, Zilla's body, if it's hot, it turns a lighter color so that it reflects the sun. But when it's cold, which for his case in Australia, it's June till August, that's their winter. When it's cold, he'll actually turn a darker color. Now, you've probably noticed the trees changing color as it's changing colors as it's getting colder. Um, but some trees don't. Do you remember what they're called? It was in the book. Evergreens, that's right. So what I want you guys to do is next time you go outside, try and see which trees are evergreens and which aren't, which change colors and which don't. I think it would be really neat checking out which trees are which. Alrighty, thank you all for joining us for our Coffee and Cuties. Thank you to APDO for sponsoring us. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.